Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I know you guys can see the trace mark in the nail tips. Um, it's because I pressed them flat with my fingers just a little bit, um, which is completely okay with me because they'll be covered up anyway. So in this video, I will be trying out the French tip cutter tool. This is my first time trying it, and I can just tell you guys right now that I don't really know how to feel about it. Um, I would say you can use it if you have trouble making your smile line or if you've never tried it before. However, um, I would honestly prefer me just uh, forming my smile line with my brush and filing it, you know, to my likings because... I don't know maybe I have to get used to it maybe I was like I don't know but okay you guys will see so I didn't bother covering the entire nail with acrylic because I think that's a waste of both acrylic and time so I just applied the acrylic to the nail about where I would uh, cut the smile line So I stopped applying the acrylic just about here and I just cut out the small line from there. So that wasn't too bad so I just continued with the rest of the nails doing the same thing and um, you guys will see. Yeah, y'all, I was struggling a little bit. That's why I said I would have uh, rather me use my brush to create my smile line like usual. Well, I've only ever done French acrylic, I think, one other time. Yeah, a while ago. But, um, yeah, using my brush to make my smile line is much easier. Using this French cutter could be good, but I just think it's an unnecessary hassle um, when I could just use my brush, yeah. Because even after I use the cutter, I still have to go in with more acrylic. Um, even after this here off camera, I had to go in with more acrylic and shape it with my brush how I really wanted it to look, you know, for it to look how I wanted to. Have any of you guys used this French cutter before? Um, I mean, it wasn't a bad experience, but like I said, I just prefer my brush over it. Well, at least I think I do. Yeah. But if any of you guys have used this cutter, let me know how it worked for you. 
also if you prefer using it over your brush or do you prefer using your brush over it. So this nail I kind of um, cut a little crooked like more to one side as you can see and I'm going to show you guys real quick how I fix that. I just went in with more acrylic and formed the line with my brush as I would prefer doing in the first place but yeah that's what I did if you guys would like to see me make a video again on French tips but using my brush instead of the cutter tool um, comment below and by the way I'm sure you guys can tell by now but I'm going for a deep French I know this look a mess right now trust me just trust the process and then I just went in one more time with the tool just to define that line on the side just curious do you guys prefer doing an acrylic French or do you prefer doing the um, hand-drawn French I prefer doing the hand-drawn French um, if you guys have been following me from the beginning you guys know that I'm good for doing a hand-painted French um, the only reason why I did this is to try out this cutter tool for you guys because I thought maybe you'll be interested and also because I wanted to do glitter um, this specific glitter I use in this video which is acrylic and I can't 
you know so I had to do acrylic French forgot to mention but as you guys can see this cutter has nine different sizes for different size nails which is convenient and um it actually wasn't that bad i know i said i prefer using my brush um over using this but i think i just have to get the hang of using it you know so yeah it wasn't that bad i can see how it will work If you guys are interested in this cutter it is in my amazon storefront um and the link to my amazon storefront will be in the description below so as i said before i did go off camera and i applied more acrylic to the nails using my brush instead of the cutter tool because i just wanted a more defined shape and you know the shape that i want so uh yeah so in the last video i asked you guys if you would be interested in me trying out this five in one drill bit from panna um this is their fine five in one carbide drill bit um i've heard good things about it so i decided to try it mainly for sealing the cuticles because i always use um just a regular standing band to seal the cuticles and i never had an issue with it but i heard that this one is really good for sealing the cuticles and filing the nail and you know things of that sort so I just wanted to try it out and I was actually impressed um it's really good at taking off the um acrylic from the cuticle really quick and it's the fine bit so you don't have to worry about cutting your cuticles with it um yeah I was just really impressed they do have the safety bits with the round top um if you're you know afraid of cutting yourself or a client they do have that option yeah i don't think i'm ever using a sanding bit again to <laughs> seal my cuticles this was so much quicker so much easier and just so smooth sealing the cuticles I just went in with the hand file and shaped this part of the French This reminds me of almond nails. I hate almond nails so much. I'm sorry, but I can't be the only one. Or do you guys like almond nails? I'm curious. Comment below.
Acrylic French nails are so time consuming. I swear this took me like two hours for one hand. I can only imagine how it would be if I did a V cut French acrylic. I think I actually attempted to like a really long time ago and I failed miserably. Like this was a while ago. Um, I'm kind of interested in trying again to see how it will go this time because I've gotten so much better. So yeah, as you can see, I'm filing the surface of the nails with the hand file to get them smoothed out for the next step. Okay guys, so dusting off the nails to prepare for the next step. This is how they came out after I shaped them. So next for the bottom of the French, I will be using this pink glitter from Nail House. sure that I fill in the entire bottom area just make sure when you're doing a French acrylic nail that you're going all the way up into the side walls of the French making sure you fill it all the way in so you have no gaps
I just filled up the bottom fringe with the pink glitter um, all the way. So when I filed, it will be even. But if you do an acrylic fringe and you want to use glitter and you prefer to cap the nails, that is fine. You just put use less glitter filling in the area as um, it doesn't matter for you to fill it all the way up because you'll be capping it anyway. So now that I am done applying the acrylic, I am just going to go in with my e-file and file out a nail to reveal that smile line. So just dusting off the nails and then I'm going to go in with my hand file to shape them and go over the surface of them a little bit.
Alrighty, by now you guys should know the drill. I am going in with my e-file to file the tips of the nail straight. If you have gotten this far into the video, thank you so much. And I want to do something like, um, come up with a keyword for people who get far into the video. Um, it will be a completely random word that you guys will comment. Um, I will put it randomly in the video. Um, yeah. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below. And real quick, I just want to shout out Anissa Green. I think that's how you spell her name. It's either Anissa or Anissa. Um, I hope I'm saying it right. Shout out to you, girl, because you were the first one to comment on my last video. Thank you so much for the support. And um, I've been seeing you a lot, like, in the comments. So, thank you. I really appreciate it. Also, shout out to Sade Timbrell. I think that's how you say it. Sade. Um, hopefully, I'm saying that right as well. Um, she commented notification gang. That lets me know her notifications are on. Be sure to turn your notifications on so you're notified each time I post a video. So yeah, shout out to y'all. Thank you so much. So this is how they are looking after I have filed them completely. And now I'm just going in with the buffer. Y'all, that is so ghetto. Sometimes these nails be flying off while I'm doing stuff um, because I do the pop off method. If you're interested in seeing how I do my nails and pop them right off, I have a video on that on my channel so you can go check it out. But I just applied it right back on and now I am spraying alcohol and wiping it down to remove any dust or debris. These are actually a look by themselves like with no stones or anything. So cute. Would you guys have preferred this look, stones or no stones? Let me know in the comments below. With some matte polish and no stones, these would have been so cute as well. So now into the fun part. Always, I'm using my Zule Bling adhesive and I'm just applying these diamond stones in the middle because I'm going to go around the perimeter of the fringe and I just want these to be in the middle. So that's a tip if you're going to do this design, you want to start with the diamond in the middle or whatever stone you're going to put in the middle so it can be centered and then you proceed with the rest of the nail. I'm gonna be using these stones 
has to apply to the perimeter of the fringe. I really don't know why I just threw these stones on here like that. I could have got one of those little triangle trays. I don't know. Basically, like I said, there will be a code word in every video. I will be placing it randomly, and you have to comment the word in the comments. I think it'll be so fun because no one will have any idea what we're talking about because the word's going to be completely random, and it lets me know you guys are still tuned in and still watching. So I just went on and repeated that same process to the rest of the nails. I tried to shorten the video down for you guys into like 20 to 30 minutes in this case this one is almost reaching 40 because these nails took longer than any other nails I've done because of course acrylic French is more tedious than most nails but nevertheless I hope you guys enjoyed these nails I hope you guys like them as much as I do because they were so worth it to me
these nails i'm sure they would do so bomb so if you recreate these nails be sure to tag me on my instagram at portia nailed it i would love to see it So guys, after I finished applying the stones, I just went in with matte top coat on the entire nail, and here is the final results. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.